So we're going to continue talking about pasting options by looking at the Paste Special dialog box because there's some functionality here that's not in the other locations that we covered, which is the clipboard group and the shortcut menu. And that includes the ability to paste comments, to paste validation rules, to paste just the column widths, and to paste a mathematical operation into a cell, including add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And finally, there's a way to paste into a destination and skip the blank cells that are the blank cells from the source. So the Paste Special dialog box. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh my gosh, he's going to explain this again. And actually, I'm not. This schedule is even more complex than it was in the prior two movies. But the good news is, is that we've already covered all of this material. And the only thing left to cover are the Paste Special options that are on the Paste Special dialog box and not in the shortcut menu or on the clipboard group. And those are these options right here. I've got a picture of the Paste Special dialog box. We're not going to really do anything with it. It's just there for reference. We're going to copy and paste in the same way we've been doing, which is to select the source cell, press Control c right-click to get the destination cell, and hover over Paste Special. But this time, we're going to go down and select Paste Special. So it's Paste Special, Paste Special. And this is the Paste Special dialog box. We can use this dialog box to paste comments. I'm going to left-click OK. And we see a little red triangle show up in the upper right-hand corner, which is the sign for us that there's a comment in that cell. And it's the same comment that was in the source cell. So we can paste comments. We can also paste validation rules. Now, we haven't talked about validation rules either, but a validation rule is a rule that you can establish that will monitor the input, either text or values, into a cell and compare it against the rule. It also allows you to put a note on the cell, which is what I've done, input a whole number between 1 and 5. So I set up a validation rule that only allows a whole number between 1 and 5 to go into this cell. So when I try to put a 6 in there, control enter, I get an error message. And that error message was of my creation. You must input a whole number between 1 and 5. And we'll talk about validation rules. The only thing that you have to know now is that you can copy the validation rules. I'm going to escape out of that. Press Control c Go to the destination. Paste special. Paste special. Left-click the radio button for validation. Left-click OK. And you can see with that message that just popped up that we've copied the validation rule into that destination cell. If I put a 6 in there, control C, I'll get the same error message. So I'm going to escape out of that. We can also paste the column widths. Control C, and I can go to a number of different cells. And this is true with all of the paste options, actually. You don't have to paste in just one cell. You can paste in a range of cells. So that's what we're going to do. Right click to get the shortcut menu, paste special, paste special, column widths, left clicking OK, and we pasted the column widths. The next option I'm going to show you rather than tell you, or sort of going to explain it as I go here. We can copy a number and have Excel do a mathematical calculation using that number on the destination cells. So how do we do that? I'm going to first select the 5, Control c That's the source. This is the destination. I'm going to right-click to get the shortcut menu, hover over Pay Special, left-click Pay Special, and we are going to add. OK. So I've added the number 5 to all of those cells, all the destination cells. I'm going to select the next cell, which is still the number 5, Control c and once you see this a couple of times, it'll be easier to remember. Select the destination cells, right click, hover over Pay Special, left click Pay Special to get the Pay Special dialog box. And now we're going to subtract 5, and we should end up back with 1,000 in those cells, and we have 1,000. Control C again, the source, select the destination, right click, hover over Pay Special, left click the Pay Special dialog box. And we're going to multiply this time, and we'll end up with 5,000 in each cell. 
And finally, control C, the source, select the destination, right click, hover over paste special, left click paste special. We're going to divide by five and we'll end up back with the thousand that we started with. There is yet one more option for pasting, and that is to skip the blanks. I have some content here, A blank C, and when I copy this content into the destination, there may be a time when you want to maintain in the destination the content that's in the cells that correspond to the blank cells in the source. I've actually had this happen a couple of times, and there's a way to do it. Select the source, press Control C, select the destination, right click, hover over Paste Special, left click the Paste Special dialog box, and then left click Skip Blanks. And what's going to happen is I'm going to copy the A and C over the numbers 1 and 3, and 2 is going to be left alone because there's a blank cell in between A and C. I'm going to left click OK, and that's what we end up with. And like I said, it doesn't happen often, but if you have the cause or the need to do this, you can. So that's the Paste Special dialog box and the options and the paste options that are not available on the, either the clipboard group or the shortcut menu. We looked at pasting comments. We could paste validation rules. We can paste column widths. We can paste a number and have that number calculate using a mathematical operator, including adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. And finally, we can paste into the destination and skip the cell that corresponds to a blank cell in the source.